So we go to question 5 and this is figure 5 shows blood group phenotypes for a mother and her two children and we are being given a diagram for the father, the mother, the son and the daughter. And then question 5a says from figure 5 deduce the genotypes for the father and mother. So we have for the father which is unknown and then for the mother we've been given a so we can just write that as mother we've been given a and then for the son we've been given o we've been given o and then for the daughter daughter we've been given b okay so deduce the genotypes for the father and the mother so for the fact that the mother has A as her phenotype we know that for them to have a daughter with a B the father is supposed to have a B and for them to have an O it means both of them are supposed to have O because O is predominant in both of them so they need OO for them to have a child who has O so Meaning the genotype for the father is BO and then for the mother is AO. Okay, and then 5B says the daughter got married and had a child with blood group AB. What was the blood group phenotype of the husband? So, since we know the daughter has B, as we have written above, and the child has AB. So for you, if you have B, for you to have AB, you need someone with either AB or someone with A blood group uh, phenotype. So meaning the husband to the daughter either had genotype AB or A. Okay, and then the father divorced the wife and married another woman with blood group B, and their first child had blood group O. With the help of a genetic diagram, explain how this was possible. Okay, so this is the first question that actually requires us to draw a um, diagram, and you should draw it in full, completely showing the parents phenotype the genotype the gametes and everything and i'll show you how to do that so the first thing that you're supposed to write on top is the parents phenotype okay parents phenotype in full and then so you put here male and then here female Okay, and then you go to parents genotype in the order given genotype, which is uh, the the male gametes is X Y the all the chromosomes, and then for female is X X. Okay, and then the gametes. which you're going to write now as I O and then I B these ones were for the father or the husband and then for the wife are going to get here by the rate also he has blood group B so it's I O and IB okay and then we repair them so this O will go with O and then this O will go with B and then this B will go with O and then this B will go with B Okay, so don't don't get confused on how to match them. Just start with the first one, 
and when you're done with the first one you're going to be also matching it with each one of the female gametes okay so O and O here it's going to be O O and then B with B is going I mean O with B is going to be O B and then B with O here is also going to be O B or B O whichever one and then B with B is going to be B B and I hope you can see that so we are going to to name these as F1 offsprings genotypes okay F1 offsprings offsprings genotype And then the bottom one, you're going to put a ratio on how you're going to get your results. So the ratio here is one to one. Okay. So we're going to put offsprings phenotype ratio. Offsprings phenotype ratio which is one to one okay so this is the end of the 2022 biology paper